Hey guys, it's Mike here, and in this tutorial I wanted to give you a introduction into PowerPoint charts and tables, and as well I'm going to walk you through an activity that is based around the MOS exam and some of the skills you'll be asked on that exam. So that's coming up in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is create and modify a table inside of PowerPoint. So we're going to download this Microsoft Experts PowerPoint just by clicking on the hyperlink. And now we see this presentation pop up. So we're just going to say enable editing. And my computer always says update now. Um, on the second page, we're going to, I can minimize this so I can show you guys the um, both screens. OK, so both the instructions. So the first step says create a 5x5 five five table in the content placeholder on slide 2 and enter the data like this diagram. So, okay, I'm going to keep that diagram in view while I stretch this PowerPoint out. Um, okay, so there's a few ways you can do this. I like to go inside the placeholder if that's where you want your table to fill out and say click insert table and then you can just put as many rows and columns as you need. It did say a 5x5. Five five. So we'll create a table like this and then we can worry about the size later. It's a little small but we can worry about that um, in a little bit and then we'll just copy the information just like it is here inside of this table if you want to click to get to a certain cell you can if you want to press tab it's a little bit like if you've ever used excel to move around the cells tab to move to the right enter to move down or sorry enter to enlarge the row and then tab just keep tabbing to get to the next row all right, so I thought I would just save us some time and fill out this information off screen. So I've got this information here. If you're starting, I would say start with this cell, uh, the below 70, and then just tab and enter the information just like it is in this table. But now we're going to move on to step three. So we're going to add a column to the right of the furthest column. And so we're going to um, just click anywhere inside of this uh, column. And then in one of the table tools options, the layout tab, Okay, table tools. So make sure you click somewhere inside this column or this won't pop up. Um, we're going to say insert to the right. Okay, so we've been, now we've got our new column in, on the right side. And we want to just pull the instructions down and put our PowerPoint back up again. Um, so now we want to copy this information. So perfect scores 5331. Uh, perfect scores is the heading which is really tough to do by the way, just a side note, uh, tough to score a perfect score on the MOS exams, but it does happen. So if you're wondering why these numbers are a lot lower, um, I made these up, but it's probably realistic. Not a lot of people can get perfect on the, oh, and don't press enter. We're gonna press tab or just click to this cell. Three, three, and one. So that's our new column. Um, and then we'll add a row to the top of the table. So to do that, you just click on the row at the very top. And then, oh, so we're adding a title into this table. Okay, so again, go to the Table Tools Layout tab. Uh, insert above, so you can insert a row as well. Increase the first row. And what I should have said, I don't know why this isn't in your instructions, is um, merge. Yeah, merge these cells so that it's a good title cell, so, and you can center this if you want to. But um, make this MOS exam scores. Okay, and then we'll make this thirty. Um, if the instructions said to center, you could do that here. I'm just doing that as an option. You don't have to. The instructions never told you to, but um, probably looks nicer anyway. 30, so we'll get to 30, 32, we'll just type in 30. All right, so the font is 30 points, MOS exam scores, change the table size. Okay, so this is the tricky part here. So this seems like a simple step, change the table size. But what often happens, especially on exams like the MOS exam, is that students will only click in one cell and then they're only increasing the size of the cell. So make sure you click on the border, the outside border of the table first and then change the table size. So table size is in layout. So again, this is table size. This is cell size. So don't get those confused. 
Um, we don't often change the size of a cell. It's usually like the size of a row, uh, which you can uh, highlight. And then distribute rows makes them equal, all equal. Distribute columns makes them all equal if you highlighted the table. But that is in the cell size group, not the table size. So make sure if you're making corrections. Uh, some weird stuff happens if you confuse those two. So the table size is 4 inches in height. and 12 inches in width so we don't have to change the width too much just scroll up a bit and that's our new size for our table and then we're going to save this file for the next activity so just uh, press save keep you can keep the name as microsoft experts that's okay and then we're going to move on to slide three so for activity 5.2 we're on the third slide of our uh, microsoft experts um, PowerPoint and we're going to highlight the chart so I'm going to click this area I'll scroll down so you can see it uh, this is the chart area make sure you click on the outside of this border and we're going to make sure or we're going to go find edit where edit data is and it's in the design tab so chart tools design and then we're going to click the drop arrow for edit data we're going to say edit data just the normal edit data button and then this is a good uh, um, exam question on both your geometrics and certiport exams so the way you there's two things about this question um, we have to add new information so sort of like the table this is we're going to use an excel table to add data to our chart so it's a little bit repetitive to what we just did so now we're creating a visual of what we um, did before so we're gonna i'm gonna put in just like we did in the table perfect scores so in this little excel window if you've ever used Excel before, this is very. Uh, this is basically like mini Excel, um, and the chart represents the numbers that we put in here. Perfect scores. Um, so now we're going to do, add the following data into the rows of the new series: uh, five, three. I'm oh, sorry, five, two. Right. These are. Uh, I think I messed up on the last one. It's five, two, three, one. Oh, I'll just put five, three, three, one because we had that in the last one. Uh, messed up on those numbers gotta be careful with those because you don't want to lose a mark like that on your yeah let's just change this to two okay so you can overwrite if you make a mistake like that just type click on the cell and then type it in I'll go back and fix that on my table um, add the following data into the rows of the new series we just did that and then so technically um, if we left it like this um, this wouldn't change anything okay look what happens when we do that um, so don't don't rush I hope that's saved yes okay so don't rush to um, exit this Excel screen. Make sure when you're adding a new series, okay, whether it's along the columns here or you're adding a new row, that you pull it this blue square at the bottom and then drag it over the new information. And then you get a little preview of, of that and you see that the series perfect scores now pops up in your chart, okay? So make sure, again, I'll show you how to do that so it's like this little blue area is our data and you want to make sure it drags over top of the new information all right so now I think I can, we can get out of here so that's what I mean by the extend the blue square to include the new series we're going to click out of that Excel window because our information is added and then you can also change um, this is also a good exam question too. Uh, change the chart type and you also have uh, change colors here I know that's a popular uh, question as well and layout types okay but we're just going with the chart type so the chart type is on the right here in the, in the design tab and then what do we want we want a 3d pie chart so I'm going to go to pie the 3d option is up here and then we're going to press ok and then we're going to change the layout type to 3 so that's the quick layout and this is 2 3 okay just has a few style sets there change the layout type to three and the style so the chart style that comes with the backgrounds and all that kind of stuff uh, style six okay your style six might look a little bit different uh, this is what mine looks like okay style six layout three and add the chart title office exam grades uh, there's a few ways you can do that I'm gonna click this little button over here you see that chart title isn't selected I'm gonna make it sure it's selected and then it creates this little box to type in a title 
which is office exam grades. Okay, and there's more options when you when you have the chart elements button. There are more options here, like when you're using Gmetrics, they have you do a lot of data labels and then select best fit for those data labels and that kind of thing. So um, that's where you, to make changes to the chart elements, that's where you would go. Okay, um, so now we've added it and we're, that's it for activities uh, 5.1 and 5.2. I'm gonna switch this number because I, I think I made a typo there and don't press enter. And then I'm gonna save this file and we're done activities 5.1 and 5.2. All right, so now we've got a summary activity for a few more table options and a few more chart options. They're gonna be similar to your MOS exam. So uh, in this activity, I've downloaded this Office Administration takeover file. Um, and then the first step is we're gonna add a row to the table. So on slide two of our presentation here, um, very similar to the last project where we did tables. We're going to add a row to the top of the table and we're going to insert a new row at the top. Okay, so this is a little bit like how your exam will be worded. Um, so that's, so we're going to make sure that your cursor is somewhere in this cell at the top row. And then when you say insert above, it'll insert a, a top row there. So that's, that's it for this first step, merge cells. So with that row highlighted that we just added, just say merge cells. And then it says merge the cells in the top row into one, which we did. Type in the title in 30 font and bold, uh, and it's called a sign up list. But if the instructions do not tell you to center, then don't. And make sure when you're doing your test that you, uh, anything in quotation marks, you type out whatever is in between the quotation marks. You don't put the quotation marks uh, inside, you know, around sign up list. Okay, and then we also have to format this as 30 font. So I'm gonna highlight it. Again, just like the last activity, 30 font, and we're gonna bold it, and it already is. It looks so nice in the center, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't add that as a step, so, although I should have. Um, the next one is delete the column for transportation students. Okay, so that means that, that we're gonna highlight this column here. Oh, no, I don't mean to make it smaller. Highlight it first. And then you can do this in a bunch of ways, but I like to right click. Where'd it go? Yes, right click, and then the delete button is up here. Uh, you have the options, we're gonna delete columns. Okay, so deleted that column, and now it's a little bit to the left. So with our table selected, make sure the border of the table is selected. We're going to look at the alignment options here. So don't, yeah, you can do that here. So, oh, no, you can. So center, you can center it or middle align. So align middle would be more vertically. Align center is more horizontally. So make sure you know the difference for your exam. Sometimes it'll ask you to align the table middle or center. Center is for like from left to right. So you can see it's or and middle is more like vertically from top to bottom. So make sure you know the difference, align center. There, it's center from left to right. And that's something that's important on your exam. Uh, we're gonna, now we're gonna change the table style. So that's the last thing. So that sounds like a style in design. Um, the table styles gallery is right here. We're gonna click more. Um, which one did they want? Medium style four accent one medium so look for the medium medium style four so that accent one that's this one okay so uh, if you're unfamiliar with how to find some of those styles you might want to practice just kind of looking for them the exam will tell you exactly which one you need to know and you just have to find it so it's sometimes difficult because the colors aren't given uh, you just have to know orange is accent two blue is accent one gray yeah, anyways, um, so just it, you might want to explore that area a little bit before we go into our exam. All right, uh, so that is it for the table options. Now there's just two small uh, chart tasks, which we're going to a little bit like the last activity. So edit chart data. Okay, so see what I did there? I didn't highlight the whole chart. 
Okay, so make sure you click when you're making uh, changes to your chart, make sure you click on the outside. And uh, tables are the same way. So you're not making changes to like one element, you're making changes to the whole chart. Um, we're gonna add a new series, add data to existing chart, add 2017. Okay, so we're just adding a new uh, little part in here. So we're gonna go to the design tab, edit data. I just click the normal. See how the test didn't, doesn't tell you exactly what to do? Uh, get used to that. Uh, our real test is going to be like that. So it makes sense. It doesn't even tell us like what direction to go, whether it's a column or row. But we, common sense would say that um, the next year would be 2017. And then we enter our data this way, just like the rest of the um, data. All right, so 45, then we're going to tab over. That's 28 tab over and then press 50 and again once I enter that we're not done yet we have to drag that little blue corner over top of our new data and you see that the 2017 values are now added and then I can uh, I can exit this little Excel window that's it for that step uh, modify the chart design so we're gonna change it to a clustered column chart this is a bar chart so bars go from left to right Column charts go up and down. So clustered column. So we're going to choose column. The default is clustered column. So it's going to switch to up and down. And we're going to choose style 13. So when we press the more button, style 13. So much for watching. If you want to check out more about your MOS exam in PowerPoint, I've got two videos I'll uh, put up uh, next to me. And you can check those out for if you want to just kind of get a brief glimpse of what your PowerPoint MOS exam will look like uh, if you have time this week.